Flash has some very versatile text rendering capabilities. You can orient your text horizontally or vertically. You can set the font, the size, the color, the line spacing. You can transform your text using skewing, rotation, or flipping. Okay, we're going to learn how to create the text you see on this screen in this exercise. So let's close this and we're going to start a brand new Flash document. We'll do it from scratch. And while we have the chance, we'll save it. And I'll call this practice. So let's select the text tool and look at the properties and attributes. The first one to look at is the text type. And we have uh, three choices. The first one is static text, and that will not change once the movie is playing or published. Then we have dynamic text. This means that the text is changed or read through action script when the movie is playing. And then the last choice is input text, which also can be changed or read by action script with the added ability for a user to change the text while the movie is playing. Since action script is required for dynamic and input text tool types, we're going to focus on the static text type in this exercise. And for our first text field, we'll start off with a text type called times New Roman and the style will just stick with regular on the font size we'll select that and make that 36 points and next we'll look at the font rendering methods and these are the various font rendering methods device fonts are now downloaded and must be on the user's computer to assure a font match this is because the user's computer is used to obtain the font rendering data device fonts offer a smaller flash movie and a precise font rendering. Bitmap text and anti-alias adds font rendering data to the flash movie. The font rendering data is downloaded to the user's machine where the flash creates the font. Although this is not as perfect as device font rendering, these choices offer high quality font rendering and also give you the precision to getting the correct font. With these choices, flash movie increases in size based on each distinct character, font, choice, size, and style. This applies once to each upper or lowercase letter for each distinct combination. When discussing optimizing flash movies, font rendering and timing is a consideration. And for now, avoid using excess of variations of font families and sizes and styles when not selecting device fonts. We'll use anti-alias for readability as there's no other animation that we're intending. Okay, so we'll come over here on the center of this top part of the stage and exactly where you want to put it and we'll type in the words hello space world we'll capitalize the first letters and an exclamation mark. Okay, now to get now you're in edit mode, so you can actually select and change the characters. To exit edit mode, you hit the escape key. And you're gonna notice that still in your mouse is the text tool, so you've got to be careful where you click. Sometimes you want to go back to the letter V to actually uh, select other items on the stage. If you want to get back to editing your text inside of a text uh, field, that's what we call this, you can double click into it if you don't have the text tool. And I'll hit escape here and if you do have the text tool it's just simply a, a single click and you're in. You'll notice there are blue handles and a blue outline. That means that this is the text field object and uh, we'll go back to the selection tool and select it and you'll notice you'll have to actually click on the stroke letters that are inside of a text field to get it selected and what we can do is we can change the properties for all the characters inside the text field when it's selected in this manner and so what we'll do is we'll come over here and we'll just change the point size to 48 points and we'll change the font to Arial You also can change the font attributes of each letter inside of your text field. So if we go into edit mode, I'll just double click into this and I'll select the H in hello. And what we'll do is we'll change its point size to uh, 56 points. And I'll select the color of red. And just click away from it and you can see that that's red. And I'll do the same with the W in world. We'll change that to 56 points and we'll change the color to red. And what we'll do with the letters 
D-L-L-O. We'll select all those. And we'll change the font to a different style font. We'll use uh, one called Impact. And uh, for Impact, uh, what we'll do is uh, we'll leave the font size and everything the same. And we'll just take a look at the change of that. And we'll do the same things for the letters O-R-L-D and the exclamation mark and the word world. We'll change that font to Impact. And what we'll do is we'll go back to the H in Hello and we'll change the style. It's an Arial, but we'll change the style to a choice called Black, which is just a thicker Arial version. And then we'll do the same thing with the W. We'll come over here and change the style to Black. And we'll exit the edit mode and I'll select the selection tool with a shortcut letter V. And what you want to notice in the property window is when individual characters in the text field have different properties, you'll see that you do not see the actual choices here because there's different ones. For example, there's two different colors and two different fonts and two different font families. And so you won't see those until you actually click back into it and then highlight the actual characters and then you'll see the choices that you made for those characters. There's no background color for static text fields, so what we can do is we can add our own layers for this. We could draw a shape on the same layer, but what we'll do is we'll name this layer text. And we'll add a layer. And we'll put that under the text layer, and we'll just call that background. And what we'll do is come over to our rectangle tool and we'll use the color aqua and a single stroke of black. And we'll just uh, draw a little background to this. And so what we'll do next with the selection tool, I'll select this text and I'm going to copy it, use the shortcut key for copy, and then I'm going to paste, use the shortcut key for that. And I'll move this a little over to the left side of the stage. Go to the Free Transform tool. That's the letter Q for a shortcut. And with the Shift key down, it'll constrain it. And I'll just turn it counterclockwise here and then just position it down a little bit. And so you can see we can rotate the text. And I'm going to copy and paste it again. So I'll just use a shortcut key and then shortcut key for paste. Bring this over to the right-hand side and rotate this in the opposite direction. And we'll just see if we can get the uh, alignment lines to show up. If not, we'll just leave it as close as we can. And uh, what we'll do is we'll just skew these a little bit. Control over font rendering is one of the major advantages Flash has over HTML. And the font styles and transformations you see here will be the same on all users, on all computers, and all browsers, exactly the way they appear on your computer.